the contest of ideas and its current substitute, the contest of fears, is actually the theme that runs through my book, Tales from the Political Trenches. Tony Abbott, as many of you uh, realise, actually very nearly made Labour a one-term government at the last federal election on the back of an exceptionally negative, fearful campaign. Stop the boats, end the waste, etc., etc. We all remember it. And on my side of the political divide, we've had, as Tony Walker captured in a quote in the Australian Financial Review last weekend, recently the class war, the gender war, and perhaps the religious war. I hope not. My favourite lines in my book actually have nothing to do with the much publicised events of June 22, which of course led to the removal of a first term Prime Minister. But my favourite lines are from a quote, uh, from, well, from a note actually sent to me by a very distinguished Australian after I won in Benelong. It was a note sent by the former Chief Justice of the High Court, Sir Gerard Brennan. Now Sir Gerard gave me permission to reproduce his words. And his note was very idealistic. He expressed the hope that with the political change at the end of 2007, that this was, would mark, as he said, the dawn of a new age. An age in which Australia may again become a confident nation, in which fear and negativity have no place. <coughs> well, if there is a tone of disappointment in my book, and that's not all there is, but there is, a, uh, there is disappointment in this book. It's because I think we're all still waiting for that.